It's January 7th. Welcome to the Daily Fire. I'm Mark Stewart Greenstein, and I want to react to the Attorney General Jeff Sessions' new enforcement of mar against marijuana use. It is silly. And we are going to look silly in states that obesely follow along. I applaud states that resist, and I would like Connecticut to be one of them. It's a restriction on freedom that's needless. Let me give you why. Pot as a Schedule I narcotic is a mislabeling. It, it could be called a mistake, but there's something more behind the history of it being scheduled as Schedule I not two, three, four, or five. Schedule one means inherently addictive and no medicinal properties. Well, we know both of these are false. Um, this is only mildly addictive at most. Almost every pot user can drop it on an instant. And the medicinal properties have been proven very well. How did this get scheduled the same way? Richard Nixon. It was in his administration where he demanded of his attorney general, John Mitchell, a crook, to be going after marijuana users. He saw them as a threat to the law and order that he promised in his first campaign and would promise again in his second run for re-election. So this had a discriminate discriminatory backing. People that were using dope at the time were often of the hippie crowd. They were not Nixon supporters. There's one other Schedule One drug that is misclassified, and here it's even more stark. It's targeted because its users were primarily Indian Americans, Native Americans, and Mexican Americans. That drug is called peyote. It has no business being Schedule One. Its medicinal properties are very good. There has been no strong addictive um, properties found in that. These two, because of their history, not because of their science, not because of addictiveness, not because of a lack of medicinal properties, these should not be classified the same way. Now, I'm on record, if I'm elected, the federal law does not get enforced here. And we will stand up if DEA agents try to do that to peaceful, freedom-loving Americans who just want to do a transaction between adults. I would keep it away from kids, but adult-to-adult -adult commerce, it's not the federal government's business. And by the way, it's not even constitutional power of the federal government to be messing with commerce within a state with no criminal element attached. Jeff Sessions, go away. I'm Mark Stewart. Thank you.